Hello, my name is Jay. Today I want to take today's video to talk about what another 16 gigs of RAM can do to increase FPS and of course system performance in gaming. But I also want to take the other part of this video as well to talk about what actually will make a difference when purchasing RAM and what kind of RAM to purchase that actually makes a you know, significant difference much more than another 16 gigs of RAM will work. So in order to start off with this video, I went through and I tested a bunch of games. I basically took out two sticks of the RAM I have back here. I have a total of 32. And so I took out six or 16 gigs and I tested games with the 16 gigs and I tested it with 32 gigs and it got real boring. And by the third game, I only tested three. So sadly, if you were looking for results, it really, I only tested PUBG, I tested um, Subnautica and then I tested um, Minecraft because Minecraft just, every, for some reason, everybody thinks that Minecraft is this great old game that requires some beefy computer specs. The $75 computer over here runs it perfectly fine. So my point being is I just wanted to see what the difference was. So I wanted to do that because my, people always say that a lot of RAM in Minecraft makes a big difference and no difference. I mean, maybe like five FPS. I really, when it looked around like 190 for the same thing, I was not getting past. And that was across the board in PUBG, all these other games. So I really wanted to see if that rumor was true and it was not. So the next question is what actually makes a difference? So, I started thinking, I said, well, some games need to access RAM more quickly. Uh, PUBG is a good example. That basically just needs to access RAM more quickly in order to get better load times, things like that. So I was like, hmm, you know, let's, let's increase and decrease RAM speed to see what that gets us. And so after some increasing and decreasing and some more increasing, I finally got to the point where I was able to correctly you know, get some results that actually seemed viable and a good use of money. So if you're going to go out and get another 16 gigs, I would say to make the biggest difference, go for something with some higher speed RAM. That will make a difference. 16 gigs is pretty much all you need. Unless you are really itching for an extra 5 FPS, higher speed RAM will make a difference. Each tier tends to add another 10 to 15 FPS, depending on the system you're on. So in, Intel, you know, the latest greatest tends to be from 5 FPS all the way up to AMD which really sees like a tremendous increase up to 20 FPS sometimes in just a simple jump from like 266 to up to 3000 megahertz. So you know if you're out there and you're going should I get another 16 gigs for RAM you have two options number one an SSD for your games will make things a little, little bit faster or the RAM speed will also make a little bit of difference if you're not going to upgrade a, um, a graphics card or a CPU. But that's the two cents that I have to give there. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a relatively short one, but I feel like people have been asking, does another 16 gigs make a difference? And it really doesn't. So, you know, use your money with something that will actually make a difference in your game experience. But thank you. If you enjoyed, check out my channel for other cool tech-related things. And, of course, hope to see you around. Goodbye.